She's in the way. What are you doing, Twitch? Move! Oh my god! Oh, that was so stupid. Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Rainbow Six Siege, a game that I haven't played in quite some time, but excited to get back into it for the channel. Um, I played it myself quite a little bit, but for the channel, I've not played it in quite some time. Uh, since release, basically, I've unlocked a bunch of the operators and things like that. I'm only missing four at the moment. So we got the new white noise operators in here. Gonna try and see how they do. And luckily, we're on the new tower map as well. So that should be relatively exciting, I think. Defending first. Um, I mean, def defense is relatively easy in this game compared to attacking, at least. I think I'm gonna go with the new operator. Let's do Vigil. Vigil's a nice guy. Yeah, somebody took Ella, so Valkyrie's cool too. But I think Vigil's gonna be the man for this for this job. Uh, he's got a shotgun with slugs in it, which gives it more range than other shotguns. And I do love shotguns a whole heck of a lot. This one only has two shots, but uh, that's basically all you need. If you hit both shots, then even three armor operators are going to go down with relative ease. So hopefully we'll we'll be able to do some shit. I I, I don't know how it's going to go. Probably just fine. Probably just fine. I've been practicing a lot. Play a little terrorist hunt to get the uh, the headshots down. And uh, maybe that'll work. So Vigil's ability is that he can go invisible to drones, which is really, really helpful if you're trying to take some drones out. Not as helpful as a mute jammer or something like that, but uh, it'll do, that's for sure. Go ahead and get my free rook armor, and it seems that we're starting four to, four to five here. Somebody quit immediately, so that's not good. I'm gonna do a little bit of roaming because that is what Vigil is good at. Um, I'm sure some people will be trying to drone me out and stuff like that, figure out where I'm hiding, but that's not gonna happen because I got my invisibility cloak. And it also works on the cameras if they have a Dokebi, who's that Korean girl that is able to hack uh, our team's cameras. So if our cameras get hacked, I'll have to be a little bit more careful about things. But um, yeah, it should be okay for now. Just kind of listening, trying to figure out where they're going to come from. I could switch over to my cameras, but there's a couple of windows behind me that they can get into relatively easily. So... Okay. I don't think that is the uh, the right answer. Mm, maybe they'll do what I do and come down uh, off the ledges. I think I hear somebody. Hello. A little bit of blood splatter there. Go ahead and reload. I don't think he even saw where I was shooting from. Maybe I get him with the shotgun. Yeah. Check this out. Blah, blah. <laughs> Missed my first shot, but I softened him up with the SMG, so I was able to pick up that kill relatively easily. Get through you. Get through you. I think it was thermite too, so that's nice. I'm not going to be blowing through any of our uh, our containers or things. Boom, and I think that was glass. So uh, two major threats down early, and oh, we're three on three. No, three on two. Okay, we can do this. It's relatively easy. Oh. Dude in the elevator. I'm a little bit scared, but we're gonna be fine. Okay, he's out of the elevator now. Peek just in time to see him moving. So that'll help. And now I'm flashed, so kind of just shooting, hoping not to get hit. But I think it also gave away, yeah, <laughs> gave away my position just a little bit. The fucking recruit comes up and blops me in the face. So we'll just see how the rest of the round goes. One yeah, remaining. that was an easy kill. I was nice and flashed. One friendly, and he's down already, so... That is a loss in round one, but at least I'm at the top of the scoreboard. That's something, isn't it? And oh my god. We've got a bunch of Chinese teammates, which happens relatively often since I'm playing in the Philippines. I'll go ahead and try and mute some of them, some of the more chatty ones. Because I can't understand what you're saying anyways. For uh, offense, I'm going to be Buck. He's really awesome, has like an underbarrel shotgun attachment that allows me to make murder holes in walls. If you're standing far enough away from the wall, it can also make a, a hole that you can jump through. Which I find really nice for surprising people, for one. And uh, yeah, 
He's also got frag grenades, so if they reinforce the walls, you can shoot out a hole at the top of the reinforcement and throw a frag grenade through. And, uh, yeah, since we're not playing hostage, it's a relatively good idea. Don't do it on hostage. I've blown up the hostage more times than I care to recount because of my, uh, <coughs> my hole-making abilities. But that's fine. We won't talk about that. Maybe one day I'll do it on the channel just for funsies. Those frags are more dangerous than they look, and it seems like the objective is downstairs, so I probably shouldn't be up here. They probably are going to have a roamer or something like that, but I'd like to go downstairs just to see uh, to see who's roaming in the immediate area, since this is the, uh, the space that we're going to be in. Yep, they're reinforcing there. We don't have anybody to get through reinforced walls, so that kind of sucks, but I can shoot through these uh, softer walls on this side of the room, so maybe that'll be a good idea. I'm not too sure. We'll see how it looks when we get down there. So, this uh, CAMRS is a semi-automatic. It's got an ACOG scope on it, which allows me to hit stuff from really long range, and uh, the damage on it's pretty good, too. I can one-shot these. There you go. If I uh, shoot it in the correct place, which I fail to do from time to time. So just kind of watch these stairs. They did start on the first floor, so I don't think anybody's going to be coming up these stairs. And of course, they aren't the only stairs on this map. Hey, look, there's a guy. I'll go ahead and mark him just to get my drone destroyed. <laughs> Generally, it's not a good idea to mark, but um, I really really don't play by the rules. We're in casual mode. I'm trying to be casual about things, you know? I'm like, hey bruh, my drone's right here. And it seems like they're all ready down there, moving in on the objective. So, oh, they're on the same floor with me. Okay, we're good. Maybe Ash is down there. That's fine. We're gonna push in. Me and Twitch right here. Things to do, places to go, people to kill, stuff like that. So she throws a shock drone out there. Confetti paper. That's quite festive. Um, so I'll kind of try and follow the shock drone and see if I can catch somebody off guard. If they start getting shocked by the shock drone. Oh, that was definitely somebody shooting the shock drone. Yeah, Twitch is done moving. Uh, Twitch is done with her drone now, so. Oh. Somebody directly to the left. I'm not quite in a position to hit them at the moment. And I think I missed with that grenade. Just bounced off the side of the door. Maybe it hit somebody. Could be. And... I popped another one in there. Oh my god. She got him. Good job, Bo. Hang out. How about... Oh god. She's in the way. What are you doing, Twitch? Move! Oh my god. Oh, that was so stupid. <laughs> Yeah, let's get a replay of that. That's an epic failure. Oh my god. Fantastic. So, that guy behind the counter has moved. I guess I'll just watch one of these other players, since none of these drones seem to be in a, a great position. This one sort of is, but... Mm, not fantastic. It'll do. It'll do. Let's see if this Ash can make some moves. She's uh, got one breaching round left, so maybe she could get through one of these walls. Oh, and she's also got a breach charge. So yeah, she's putting the breaching charge down. She's going to breach that door at the same time, I think. Oh yeah. That's a good way to make some noise. Tell you what. And a little sneaky peek. Oh, somebody gave away their position. Silencers are kind of cool because they won't uh, give you that position indicator. You can still see the direction the bullet is traveling, but it's a lot harder to trace the shots back if you don't have that position indicator. On the downside, the silencer also reduces the uh, the damage that's done by the weapon. Oh my god, and that guy got killed with an impact grenade. That ain't good. Well, I think this might be uh, another loss. One and four here. Oh my god. Did he get that guy? He didn't even get him. Got that guy. A little recruity. Fruity Boots recruit. Well, that's uh, a second loss. This is not going well. I'm still holding my position, kinda. But, uh, yeah, I didn't do too much there. Blew myself up with a grenade. 
let's try not to think about that too much. So here it is, match point. We gotta defend. I was doing okay with Vigil, but um, he's definitely not somebody that I main very often. Ella's definitely not a main either. I usually go Valkyrie or Rook. They're probably two of my favorites. Bandit's pretty good. Jaeger. Jaeger's gun is fucking sick. But uh, Ella has one of the sickest guns in the game right now. Everybody's screaming nerf nerf. Nerf her! Nerf her gun! It's got a uh, 50 capacity magazine or something like that. Which is honestly just insane. Hibana has an awesome gun as well. Uh, she's one of my one of my main attackers too. But uh, Hibana's rifle only has like... I think 20. 20 in the in the clip. And yeah, 21 bullets is way less than 50. So in a shootout between Ella and Habana, I think Ella would win every time. I mean, that, that doesn't really happen because they're both attackers, but you know what I mean. Just comparing the two guns, you definitely probably want Ella's gun more than uh, Hibana's. But Hibana can also breach through walls, reinforce walls with her ex Kairos. Um, this game is just so deep. I really, really didn't realize how deep it was when I was first playing it, and now that I do, I, I just can't seem to get enough. It's tasty as shit. Everybody knows that. And the uh, player base is growing consistently, instead of shrinking, so I find that pretty, uh, pretty heartening. And they've got one player down, somebody left immediately, so maybe this won't be the last round. I certainly hope not, but you never know. You never can tell. I've definitely been up two rounds and then had people come around to swoop the victory, winning three rounds in a row, but I'm not extremely hopeful for that. Um, because if I'm making the most kills, then then that's, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Probably I need somebody to carry me. You guys, just carry me, please. That would be wonderful. So let's stick a Grismont mine up here. And that will uh, concuss anybody that goes through that door, and uh, any other teammates as well, within quite a radius. So that might be good for getting some easy kills. And there's another Grismont, and I'll keep the third one for myself, just in case I start getting pushed or something like that. You can kind of throw it just as, a, as an oh shit moment. A lot of people like to place all of them, but uh, I like to keep one on me at least. It seems pretty helpful. Now, usually Ella is a roamer, uh, much like I was playing Vigil in the last round and running around and stuff like that, but I generally don't do that just because it seems like a waste of the, the mines, but she is pretty powerful if you do decide to do that. So I'm kind of just watching this line of sight, holding it as thin as possible because uh, that is something that I found works pretty easily. You can have somebody walk by, you know they're there. If they see you and try to shoot you, then um, they're gonna have to expose themselves. To oh, that was the Grismont mine at the end of the hall, I'm pretty sure. So somebody's in that hallway. Hopefully they're able to get an easy kill. I'm just waiting for somebody to peek over here. I know somebody will eventually, but uh, there he is. Hey! <laughs> Sweet. Easy kill. That's what I'm talking about. They can't really hit me because uh, I've got such a, a thin little space to shoot through. Obviously I can only shoot them from the same space, but I have the advantage because uh, I'm in the defensive position. They're the ones that have to push into this thin little line of fire. So I'll stick that last Grismont mine there. Hopefully that'll be able to uh, catch somebody off guard. People do look in the barbed wire uh, relatively often, but... Who knows, on the off chance they get close to the barbed wire, um, there's that other Grismont mine on that second door. Nobody seems to be pushing once the, uh, the mine's triggered. Which is fair, I mean, concussion does screw up your vision just a little bit, like that. <laughs> but um, yeah, people can obviously still shoot you. So I'm gonna change up my position a little bit, there's a fucking shield guy over there still. Ah, uh, there you are. Hey, friendo. Oh my. Now we got some uh, some crossfire here, which is a relatively good strategy. But uh, we seem to be pitching that relatively good. Hey, last kill of the game. 
Did he kill somebody before I killed him? Yeah, he did. That's okay. Sacrifices must be made. And there it is. Dayton does kill Cam. Fucking sweet. So, we're holding it still. Holding it down. I'm, I'm getting pretty hopeful. Uh, if we win one more, then we can get that OT match point. And obviously it's a long way, a long way from behind, but, um, yeah, our team did it. We're kind of holding it down, so we've got, uh, me as Jackal, which is my most recent operator, um, and I'm not very good with him. He's got, like, a visor that comes down and can track footprints and shit like that, which if you can get somebody tracked, it's really, really helpful. You can, uh, push him into a corner and... It's not exactly a free kill, because they can still shoot you as you come around, but knowing where they are is extremely helpful. Uh, the problem comes when you have your visor down and you get shot. There's like a bunch of static, which ends up throwing me off quite a little bit. More than I would like. And uh, you've also got to watch out for mutes jammers, which generally were put in the game to... uh <laughs> fish bones. Generally put in the game to... Uh, destroy drones or breach charges, but, uh, yeah, it affects Jackal's helmet for some reason, which I guess makes sense. It is electronic, but, uh, it's certainly distracting. It keeps me from wanting to track things, but we'll see if we can get somebody tracked, at least. I'm gonna search around a little more for the container. I don't want to lag too far behind my team, but Jackal's a pretty good independent operator. Uh, an anti-roamer is what I guess I would call him. You got roamers who walk around uh, trying to pick some kills and waste people's time, make the attackers scared of like getting flanked to death, and then you've got the anchors who are just sitting at the base. So obviously you want to uh, track the footprints of a roamer rather than an anchor, because it's a lot harder to uh, get into the base to kill the anchors, because there's obviously more than one. Usually it's uh, two roamers and three anchors from most of what I've seen. So I don't I don't know what anybody's going to do here. I guess we're just hanging out for a minute trying to find the uh, container. And there it is. Second floor. Easy day. I'll just keep roaming a little bit. Uh, just have a little sneaky peek. I just want to see if there's somebody around. And also uh, pick a nice clear path. Anybody behind the counter? It seems not. Hmm. This is one of the uh, harder objectives to push into. It would probably be easier from the windows, but um, I already dropped down. I could climb up the ladder too, but it's fine. My team's going this way. I'm going to go this way. I'll keep my, uh, my visor up. Just look for some footprints or something like that. But uh, I'm not seeing any. They have to be relatively fresh in order for you to track them and stuff like that. So I guess nobody's been this way, which is good for us. Oh, there's nothing directly behind me. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know this map 100% either. But um, maybe good enough. Maybe good enough to bring it back around. I'm not too hopeful with Jackal, though. I probably should have picked somebody else. This is not the time to be screwing around. You know what I mean? But oh well. What's done is done. And they are in that room just there. I'm trying to destroy this shock wire, but that's uh, not working. I guess I'm aiming at the wrong thing or something. So, okay, we'll get a little bit closer to it. That can't possibly be bad, right? And, uh, I don't hear anybody. But they're probably just holding line of sight on that room. And, uh doing the best they can to hold it down. Maybe they don't have any roamers. I'm not sure. But they are destroy the shock wire. Open up a little more line of sight. Dokebi's calling people's phones now. Oh my god, I got murked so hard. My brain just registered that he was standing there at the very last second. And I basically announced myself with the, uh, the fucking shotgun, so that was a really bad play on my part. That's okay. Looks like they've got an Echo in there as well. Go ahead and mark him, just so the Twitch can know. And that was really nice. Got two down. Easy day. And maybe we'll 
will still be able to bring it around. I mean, four and two, that's not bad. I wish I was in there to, to catch some of the tastiness, but yeah, I, I pushed too hard. I didn't make the smart play like I should have. Oh, and there's that bandit. I probably should have told somebody he's holding line of sight on that door. But I'm uh, talking to myself at the moment. Oh my god, 15 seconds. Time goes so fast, doesn't it? One off, four remaining. One left. Everybody push in there. Go, go, go. Oh boy. Gonna do it. <laughs> yep. It's hard to take them all out. Unless you're getting headshots. Then uh, you'll be able to do it. Mira. Poor little Mira. All by her lonesome. So here it is. OT match point. Fucking good job. Gonna bring this around. I'm gonna be Zofia. She's one of the one of the three operators that was released in White Noise. It's like Ella's sister or something like that. So she doesn't get concussed. She's got like this uh, grenade launcher that shoots two impact grenades or four concussion grenades. I say I say or, but it's actually and. It can switch between two modes, and uh, I find those concussion grenades really, really nice. They have like a proximity detonation the to them. Uh, she can also get breach charges or a claymore. So claymore good for covering your ass, um, especially if it's a, a map with some sunlight on it, which this one isn't going to be because it's it's uh, it's nighttime in the tower, but still uh, relatively useful if people aren't paying attention. And then you've also got those breach charges, which can be paired with the impact grenades, and you can just bust through three walls at a time and make, like, a huge line of sight for yourself, which I find to be exceedingly awesome. And I fell down. Whoops. <laughs> a couple of derps in this video, but that's all right. As long as we can bring it back around, I'm, I'm relatively happy. And, uh, yeah. Still seem to be bagging some kills. Obviously, I am a lot better on defense than I am at attack, but uh, hopefully that'll change at some point. Sometimes I'm able to pick up uh, a kill or two on attack, but defense is truly where I shine, and also why I say it's uh, slightly easier. Even though you don't have the same high-powered rifles and stuff like that, all you really got to do is chill out. You know uh, what direction the attackers are going to come from. So, it doesn't seem like anybody wants to come out this way with me. Uh, I think there's a camera over there somewhere, so I was trying to destroy that, but... Eh, it ain't gonna happen. I kinda wanna chill out and wait for my team. Oh, my drone was destroyed, that's right. Farty fart, I guess I could watch somebody else's. Mmm. It's probably not gonna help me too much. Well, where, where is everybody? Where are my peoples at? I need my peoples. I don't want to go in there alone. Oh, here comes Ash. Alright. Watch my Ash, Ash. <laughs> That's a good one. Dang. There's a drone rolling around. Nobody's been marked, which means this is probably relatively safe. I'll go ahead and sneak down. Try not to run too much in this game because uh, it's loud as fuck. <laughs> Somebody shot out that camera, I think. The camera I was looking for earlier. So that's good. I don't know where all the cameras are on basically any map. Um, I can snag a couple of the outdoor ones, but there are no outdoor cameras in this map. So go ahead and plop this mine down. And let's see what we can spy with our little eye. Oh, they're on the second floor. I thought they were on the first floor. God damn it. Okay, come on back. <laughs> Give me all my stuff. I'm taking my things and I'm leaving. Get my claymore, get my drone. Let's fucking go back upstairs because I'm apparently a derp. Not paying as much attention as I should be. Oh well. These things happen from time to time. Oh, and they are a player down, so I'm... I'm getting more and more hopeful by the moment. We are a minute... A minute and 30 seconds away from the end of the round, so we're gonna have to fucking make some moves really quick here. Let's see. We could try and go through that wall. Oh my god, somebody had the same idea. And I'm at half health. Thank goodness uh, for my teammates. With teammates like these, who needs enemies? So fucking 49%. Luckily, uh, 
Zofia can also pick herself up from a down but not out state. So if you don't have a headshot on you, then uh, you'll just kind of lay on the floor bleeding out. And Zofia doesn't need a teammate to pick her back up. She can pick herself back up, albeit with uh, only one HP. Let me go ahead and scope this out with my drone. And yeah, this is definitely the objective. I got a mirror. A mirror over there. And that's the end of my drone, but at least a little bit. Kind of marked it out for people. Look at my claymore again. I'm gonna go through this hole. That's what I'm gonna do. Look at that. Ashley nailing some people. Oh god. I'm gonna get my, uh, my concussions out. And that was definitely uh, a proximity detonation, so let's see. Yeah. She was uh, holding her hands up over her face. Which is a good thing. And now that guy's down. So maybe finish it? How you doing, buddy? Lap lap. <laughs> That'll do. First to secure. That's wonderful. And there's the, uh, the last kill. Fuck yeah! Brought it back around. Bring it around too. Hell yeah, dude. That's what we do now. Is that fucking bandit comeback victory? And I got second place, which ain't too bad. I got uh maybe five kills, four kills, something like that. Good job, Chinese teammates. Zhao, Zhao Dei Dong. Oh, I got six kills, highest on my team. Fuck oh, yeah! Even though my ping is through the roof, but. Nobody saw that. That's fine. <laughs> you also get to spin at the end for alpha packs, which I don't think was a thing when I was uh, first playing this. Or at least I didn't pay much attention to it. Of course I don't win because 5.9% chance to do it, but still, pretty nice. Pretty good. I'm happy with that match. If you enjoyed it as well, I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe, friends. Quite a good one. Nice comeback victory. Uh, showcase some of the new operators. Ah, got the most kills on my team. Happy, happy Dayton. Anyways, um, yeah, I hope that you like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my links in the description. We got Patreon links, Discord links, all that happy horse shit. Um, if you'd like to support me on any of those, Twitter, give me a follow. I'd appreciate that very much. I will be back with some more uh, Rainbow Six with the white noise updates. And I hope that you will join me for it, friends. So... Until then, this has been Rainbow Six Siege, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.